Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and during the last uh, maybe week I got about 10 same questions from different people and all those questions were about if it is possible or not that um, RH positive uh, parents uh, have RH negative child and so I decided to make this video uh, actually this question is very very simple to understand even for those people who uh, don't know anything about genetics or have only uh, vague understanding how genetics works so this is just very very simple idea imagine that uh, uh, with uh, RH positive and RH negative factor we have three different genotypes one can be when person would have two RH uh, positive factors another variant would be when person may have one RH positive factor and wouldn't have any factor that he got from the second parent at all so actually uh, those we call it um, uh, RH positive it is uh, actually heterozygous genotype one factor is present, the other factor is absent. So we don't have such thing as RH negative. Uh, we call it negative, but uh, basically it is when RH factor is not present at all. So these two genotypes here make one phenotype that is called RH positive and this genotype here make another phenotype that we call RH negative. So is it possible for parents who is uh, RH positive to have RH negative child? And let's do a simple Punnett square. Imagine that one parent is heterozygous for this trait. So his genotype would be positive and blank space uh, meaning not any uh, of the uh, allele can present here. This means one allele present, another is absent. And other uh, parent genotype also would be positive and negative. So one allele positive would be present, another would be absent on the other chromosome. And when we build a Punnett square, we can predict all the possible outcomes of such a cross. So both parents, as you see, are H positive. And what is the genotypes possible for the progeny? Are H positive phenotype here? Are H positive genotype and phenotype here? Are H positive phenotype here? And this child didn't got allele not from uh, say uh, his father side not from his mother side so uh, maybe it's even would be more simple for your understanding that this is gametes so this is a sperm that produce male and in some sperms uh, this male may have rh factor present in some it um, would be absent and female gametes would be egg cells and once again in some egg cells this female would have um, RH factor present and in half of her gametes this factor would be absent and as you see uh, one quarter of the progeny would be RH negative so RH negative and three quarters so this is one quarter and three quarters they would have a progeny that going to be RH positive so as you see this is very simple uh, Mendelian genetics and yes uh, two parents who can be uh, RH positive may have RH negative child if you're still confused 
and here is another example. This is surface of red blood cell and imagine that uh, this RH positive, this is just a protein, this is factor that makes this um, RH positive phenotype. So uh, protein would be produced and of course um, in the case of blood uh, transfusion uh, these proteins may uh, cause reaction from the recipient because uh, this is going to be foreign proteins. So this would be uh, example when person would, uh, would be Rh positive and um, someone who is uh, heterozygous meaning that on one chromosome he produce normal protein that reaches the surface and on the other chromosome this uh, allele is mutated so it stays inside it cannot reach the surface so it doesn't produce immune reaction of the recipient and imagine that some people have both alleles uh, receiving from the mother side and father side uh, mutated and uh, those proteins cannot reach the surface of the red blood cell and cannot cause uh, this uh, reaction from the recipient and we call them Rh negative so they basically don't have on the surface of the red blood cell these proteins. So now uh, I hope you understand why we can use Rh negative blood uh, in transfusion for both uh, recipient who is uh, Rh positive and Rh negative because these proteins inside wouldn't cause uh, any immune reaction from the recipient and if someone has um, these proteins on the surface of the red blood cells and would be Rh positive. In this case, if we transfuse this blood to someone who is also Rh positive, there wouldn't be reaction. Of course, if this is going to be the same ABO blood group and um, if we transfuse this blood and recipient would be Rh negative, so that recipient wouldn't have this uh, surface proteins on his red blood cells of course there would be immune reaction of that organism so he uh, his organism or her organism would recognize these red blood cells as foreign particles and uh, organism would start to destroy um, foreign blood this is why uh, people who are age negative and belong to the blood group O are called uh, universal donors and I hope you understand uh, also the difference between homozygous uh, and heterozygous genotype or for Rh factor uh, here we have two chromosomes one inherited from the father side another from the mother side both has a normal allele that produces a surface protein and uh, in the case of the heterozygous genotype uh, for example, uh, this person inherited one chromosome uh, from the mother side with normal functioning um, allele on the other homologous chromosome inherited from uh, father side. Uh, this allele would be mutated and would stay inside uh, of the red blood cell and uh, genotype would be heterozygous. So probably this person who is heterozygous would have lease uh, these proteins on the surface of the red blood cell but still even if the um, number of these proteins would be reduced uh, organism still would recognize uh, this uh, foreign proteins and uh, this would uh, cause uh, immune response this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day Thumbs up if you like this video, please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video, goodbye.